I'm going to be demonstrating the garter tab cast on, which is often used in shawls when the work starts in the center and then increases outward. So to create the garter tab cast on, you will need to cast on a number of stitches that the, call, the pattern calls for. And to start with, it's going to usually be a pretty small number. I have used the provisional cast on, and I will include a link below on my tutorial for how to do the provisional cast on. I've also seen it done that you can do the garter cab cast on by starting with a long tail cast on rather than the provisional cast on. And there's a slight difference in the way it looks, and I will show that to you in the end of this tutorial. So now that I've got these three stitches cast on, I am going to knit six rows. Okay, I have knit my six rows. And the reason that I've knit six rows is because I will be picking up three stitches along the side and we will be picking those up in between these little garter ridges. So I'm going to be picking up and knitting on this first little valley right here in between the stitches on my needle and this first ridge here. So pick up, knit that one, and then I'm going to pick up another one in between these two ridges. So that's my second stitch. And now I'm going to pick up my third stitch in between the last little, the last two ridges there. Picking up and knitting that one. There we go. And now I'm going to carefully remove the scrap yarn that was used for my provisional cast on. And I'm going to place these live stitches on my left hand needle. Okay, so now I have removed the scrap yarn and I have three live stitches on my left hand needle and I'm going to knit those. All right, now I have nine stitches and I am ready to proceed with my shawl or whatever it is I would be making with this garter tab cast on. So as I mentioned, I have also seen the garter tab cast on demonstrated using the long tail cast on. And then when you're picking up and knitting your stitches along the side, you would continue to pick up and knit your bottom stitches rather than having live stitches to knit. Now the long tail cast on method does have a slight difference in look than the provisional cast on. So this is my swatch using the provisional cast on method. And you can see it's just a nice smooth garter ridge right there. The, the tail does kind of come out in the middle, but that would be, could be weaved in through the back anyways. And this is the long tail cast on method, you can see that there's kind of a little bit of a messier bump or messier ridges there as compared to the provisional cast on method. But if you don't mind, I mean, it, it, it is barely noticeable and you'd have to look at it very, very closely. So if you don't mind that extra little bump and you would rather do the long tail cast on method than the provisional cast on method, then feel free to do it that way instead. Thank you for watching my tutorial on the garter tab cast on. Hope you enjoyed it. Now go forth and knit confidently.